you know that the average millionaire has seven streams of income? That's seven streams of income. I think that's a fantastic statistic because whether you want to be a millionaire or not, would you agree having more streams of income equals more freedom and more security? Whether you want to build an online business or an offline business, would you agree if you had multiple streams of income where you were making money multiple ways, where you wasn't just relying on one income stream, whether that's a job, whether that's your first business, the truth is the more streams of income you have, the more options you've got, the more security you have, the more f freedom that you've got. So in this video, I would love to share with you a deep dive tutorial in my computer sharing with you at least 12 streams of income. That's 12, that's more than seven. Now the goal here is to give you ideas. The goal here is to give you, um, to, to, to whet the appetite a little bit, to inspire, to motivate and think, wow, how amazing is this opportunity that we live in right now to build online businesses? Okay, because I know for a fact, when, when people told me, when I was an electrical engineer and they were telling me we, we were gonna lose our jobs, and it was ended up being in the, the national news that the steelworks that I worked for was going into to liquidation, the truth is that's unacceptable for my life and my family, and that's why I would love to share with you and hold nothing back, get in the computer and give you some ideas, okay? My name's Kev here from lifesuccessengineer.com, and since 2015, I've been on this journey of multiple streams of income, building businesses, building one business at a time, systemizing it, outsourcing, building teams, whether that is my warehouse team, whether that is my virtual team, I know that I can't do everything myself. So what we do is we build one business, systemize, automate, put managers in place, and then go on to the next one. So. I'm gonna get in the computer, we're gonna talk multiple streams of income. I'm excited about this one. If at any time you think this is good, please hit that subscribe button. I'm here just wanting to, to support you, inspire you, and inspire ultimately massive action, okay? And hit the like button as well if you like any of these. Okay, so let's get into it then. We've got multiple streams of income. Okay, this is multiple streams of income. Some of them will be more passive than, than others. Okay, so you've got passive income and you've got active income, which basically means that some things you can set up with the, the technology we have nowadays, with the online capabilities through you know website building, platforms, you can automate a lot. So there's passive where you've set it up once and then it can, you have the ability to make money without you being there, okay? You don't have to be there to complete the transaction, or you've got active income where you are actively taking massive action every day to build something, okay? I'm gonna go through these um, as we build, right? So let's get into this, I'm super excited about it because this is ultimately what it's about, especially when you're planning your expansion, when you're planning what you want to do in the future, okay? so. We're just gonna to go to the, let's, at random, okay, we're gonna go random, let's go up down here first, the orange one. All right, okay, so we've come to the first one, Amazon FBA. This is ultimately where I started, Amazon FBA. And Amazon FBA is a fantastic online business that we can get started with today. And there are different business models within Amazon FBA. You may know this already, you may not know this already, but basically Amazon FBA fulfillment by Amazon gives us the ability to ship products ship products to Amazon's fulfillment centers, and bearing in mind that Amazon are one of the largest companies in the entire world, they've got fulfillment centers scattered around the world at this point, in the US, in, in Europe, in the UK, in Australia, they are expanding worldwide, and they have the ability to ship your products to customers if you make a sale. So there's different, there's different business models within within Amazon FBA, so you've got books, you've got retail arbitrage, you've got online arbitrage, you've got wholesale, you've got private label, okay? These are different business models within the Amazon FBA umbrella. Now, for me, this is exactly where I started. I started with online arbitrage. This is exactly where I started. I started with Amazon FBA in 2015, where we were basically buying products from retail stores 
online through websites, clearance stores, and we were selling them on Amazon, which basically means that we were able to make a profit. We were able to take advantage of the price difference. So you've got your buy for, you've got your Amazon FBA fee, and ultimately you've got all the, you know, the packaging, the, the, the shipments to be done. If the, the customer pays at a specific price that has profit in there for you, you can make a real big difference. You can, you can make some money, right? Because you can now ship thousands of products, which, which is super exciting, which is basically what I've done. And I've, I've, uh, this is what we do every single day. We've got the warehouse. We, we've taken huge amounts of action. And I've got loads of tutorials on this channel that can share with you what this is all about. And in fact, I've got a, 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 in the comments in the description below, I've actually got a free course, okay? A free course that you can go on a multiple streams of income, a diversification course that you can enroll and we go much deeper in all of these, right? So you've got books. This is buying books from different, finding them from different like libraries and things and you can make them available on Amazon. Retail arbitrage, going to retail stores, scanning the clearance sections, seeing whether you can make a profit. We've got online arbitrage, which I've just spoken about. You've got wholesale, right? Wholesale's fantastic. Wholesale now has the ability to get you to that next level, in my opinion. When you've got relationships with suppliers and you're going to trade shows, you're gonna be you're gonna be making and striking some amazing deals for potentially a product that sells hundreds of times, potentially even thousands of times every single month. So instead of having, you know, hundreds and thousands of different products for sale, you could have like some really amazing, like one or two different products that are available and selling for you. Okay, so I've actually got a wholesale free course as well that you, you can get yourself involved in and that shares with you the best content I have available for wholesale. Then private label. Now private label has changed over the years because private label once upon a time, you used to be able to simply just uh, go to China, put a, your logo onto a, a product, make it available on Amazon, a spatula or, or whatever, a water bottle, and you used to be able to make some sales. You used to, there used to be like an algorithm um, hack with feedbacks and things, and Amazon got rid of all that. They've got rid of all. They've actually made some amazing moves over the last couple of years where people are actually forced, correctly in my opinion, to build real business to take care of customers, to build a real business where you've got a high quality product, you are building relationship with customers, you're solving problems, that's where private label is now. So there's no, you can't no longer forge reviews and things, you're actually doing things properly. So that's why the best products are now being shown on Amazon with, with real reviews and people are ultimately having to innovate and come up with new ideas. So there's absolutely still a private label opportunity. You've just got to be smarter about it. Okay, so that's Amazon. Okay, that's Amazon. So um, again, if you're interested in Amazon, like I said, there's that link. The next one, let's go to, let's make our way round. Okay, so let's make our way round here. Okay, so the next one is affiliate marketing, okay? Affiliate marketing, what does that mean? Affiliate marketing is the process of you finding a product, finding a product or a service online, okay? Where you can recommend that to other people. And you probably do this quite a lot in your life already. I mean, I, I don't know about you, but whenever you're talking to your friends or your family or somebody saying, Oh wow! I, you know, I, I really like that that T-shirt you've got, or um, I really like that um, that something you got in your house. Where did you get that from? And you would naturally go, "Oh, I got it from this store. I got it from that store." Like this calendar, right? This calendar is an amazing wall calendar. I had somebody ask me the question, "Where did you get that wall calendar from?" That's amazing. Like it's it's like the whole annual the the year. I can cross it out. I can put felt tips and, and all the rest of it on it. And I was like, yeah, that is amazing. Listen, I, I got it from Amazon, and then I can give them a link, okay? And then Amazon are going to give me a small commission for doing that. So affiliate marketing is basically like partnership marketing. Is when you want to find a product, 
okay? You, you want to find a, a, a product that you, you believe in, that you've used, that you get, can get behind. And there's different types of affiliate marketing commissions, right? So there's low ticket commissions where you've basically got a low, uh, a low ticket product where maybe it's only for 30 pounds, uh, $50, and this low ticket is maybe, it's gonna give you 50% or it's gonna give you 25%, whatever the case is, it's going to give you a, a, a commission. Okay, the, the advertiser, the, the service, the product is going to say thank you very much for you, you're a partner of mine, and take a little bit of the money that we've just made because of you. Okay, so there's different types. There's low ticket commissions, like one-off. Um, there's there's high ticket commissions. Um, there's one-off, so you, the higher you go, you can get some real high ticket commissions where you can make 500, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, whatever, right? There's some high ticket commissions and there's different strategies involved and obviously more things that you have to do if you're gonna to get to this type of level, right? So what you're gonna to have to do for low ticket is different for high ticket. And we're gonna, and, and there's a lot we can talk about there as well, which I will get onto. Then there's recurring commissions. Okay, so some items, some, some services are now doing recurring commissions, right? So if you are, um, if, if something is like a per month for the service, for, for that customer, let's say it was, 1999 per month or 47 per month then affiliate marketing is great because if you get a customer for that product or service that might have recurring commissions so you're now getting money from potentially multiple affiliate partners that you've got like business i call it partners really because it is you you become a partner with someone like for example, the, the Life Success Engineer brand, we are currently working right now, and I'll share with the, the link in the description, um, of our own partnerships, our own partners. So what that basically means, if you want to recommend one of ours, we can go through the application, we can go through, ultimately learn a little bit more about you, what your business is, and then if you wanted to, um, if you wanted then to advertise or recommend any of our products, then we're gonna give you commission for that. And that's what affiliate marketing is. There's so much that we can go into there. There's big business around this. There's people making hundreds and hundreds of thousands, millions in places. That is the potential of affiliate marketing. And when we really think about it, there's no need for customer service. There's no need to create a product. There's huge, huge, great, great, um, great ideas and great uh, business that you can get hold of. And and when you think about it, nowadays, because we've got online, because we're on you know the, the social media platforms, we've got the YouTubes, we've got the, the Facebook groups, we've got the Instagrams, you've got your blog, your websites, there is the, the huge potential to start going into affiliate marketing relatively simply because you're now just getting links from your different partners and you're making them available. You're, you're sharing with other people. You're making them aware of the, the, the great service that you've had or the great outcome that you've had of that product. And this is when affiliate marketing gets really, really good. Me personally, we've utilized affiliate marketing. We now have multiple partners that we recommend. We've got some low tickets. We've got some high tickets. We've, we've got some recurring commissions we, we utilize this because it's the right thing to do because if you're recommend just like you like I tried to give the analogy if somebody's rec if somebody's asking you for something it's okay to say listen I've got an affiliate link usually great affiliates will do extra okay I certainly would uh, I do extra depending on what the the offer and everything is I will go above and beyond because I believe in if I'm gonna recommend something to someone, I need to trust that service, I need to use that service, I need to believe in that service, so I don't trust, I don't recommend anything, I only recommend ultimately what I've had good experiences of. So that's why anything that I personally recommend to you is something that I believe in, right? So um, affiliate marketing, if, you're not in, if you've not got involved in affiliate marketing yet, Put it on your list. I think it's probably one of the easiest to get into. Now, I don't believe in easy, uh, quick, you know, get rich quick schemes or anything like that. Takes a lot of work, but it's much more, I guess, 
easier in terms of the creation because you don't have to do that customer support, the creation of the product, etc. Right? So let's continue, right? Let's continue. Here we go. Here's an interesting one. We've got business partnerships. Okay, business partnerships. This is something that's really, really quite an interesting concept for you to potentially utilize in your business right away, right? So the ability now, the, the strength in partnerships cannot be underestimated. If there's win-wins to be made with people, then you can absolutely take advantage of becoming a partner with people that's another stream of income, right? So let me give you a couple of examples of this. You know, if you want to go and become co-founders of a particular product, maybe it's a product that you're going 50-50 on or whether that is multiple co-founders, you can you can ultimately you can become a a business partner with other people, you know, and you've got the common objective, whatever product or service that you're doing. So for myself, this is where um, I started getting into the development of software, etc. And I've got partners involved in this, right? There's franchises, right? So when you think of um, there's, there's different things you can do. Let's say you've got a service right now. You can get out there. You can ask the question of, um, does, do you want to become a partner of mine? So I'll give you a perfect example. My brother-in-law, Gareth, he um, he has his own warehouse, he has his own space, he has, you know, we're shipping thousands of products and we were looking for different warehouses and we thought, do you know what? We could potentially strike up a partnership here where we can become a partner with Gareth and then um, he then said, well, that makes sense, like for our prep service, etc. Why don't we use the same systems, the same brand or everything? And now it's like a franchise. OK, so it's a fantastic idea. If you've got if you've got a business right now that is maybe a service based business and you, you I don't know what you're up to right now in your business, but there may be potential. And I'll give you an example of our prep service franchise. If you look, go in the link in the description below as well, you will see um, a, a franchise application that we do for the prep service based on whether someone's got like a warehouse or a location. We're really getting into these business partnerships because you know you can do things yourself and only go so far. If you then go with another person, right? You don't just get times to the result you actually get more because it's more ideas, better ideas and everything else. So that's another example for you. Okay, let's move on to the next. And if you've enjoyed this so far, please hit that thumbs up button. I really do appreciate it. Like I said, I try to uh, support as much as I can and I'm actively doing all this myself, right? So I'm talking from real experience. Agency business. There's there's been a huge, huge um explosion over the last couple of years of agencies, whether that is sort of, um, I mean, I put loads of examples here from um, social media agencies coming up. There's there's paid ads. People need, there's so many businesses now that are underutilizing the online space. Like um, they're, they're just not using the, the potential of online to their max and there's so much opportunity there for having an agency that helps people with setting up their sales funnels, their customer support, writing, blog writing, um, social media marketing, Instagram, Facebook, uh, you know, all these amazing things, paid ads, you know, there's, there's a whole area of, of agency when it comes to, um, you know, paid ads, uh, Facebook, uh, Google and YouTube and uh, Instagram. There's there's a whole niche just here. Systemization. You know, people have uh, have come to us and come to me to to have my expertise when it comes to systemizing businesses. This could be a whole agency, which is something that I'm personally working on long term with myself, with my COO and Steve. We are looking at long term. Can we go to big business and help systemize their business, make it more efficient? So this is something that you may want to think about. This is absolutely a great idea that you may want to study and get into because there's so much out there in terms of funnel building. There's so much need for freelancing and, and everything, right? So this is just another idea for you. Let's go on to the next. The next one is, here we go. Book publishing, okay. Book publishing. Now, book publishing you can you can 
um, self-publish your own creative work. So if you're an author, if you've maybe had a, a, a goal to write a book, then there's multiple things you can do. And amazingly, Amazon have given us the opportunity with Amazon um, Kindle Direct Publishing, KDP, that you can now, you can publish your own ebook. Okay, you can publish your, your hard copy book, which is through, I think it's, it's through KDP now. Uh, it used to be through K Create Space. It might still be, but you can now make an ebook. You can write a book, get a cover made from somewhere like a Fiverr, um, Fiverr.com, where you can just get a, a, a cover made. And you can publish your book on Kindle. You know, I, I can share with my, my own personal experience, me learning this is from um, publishing my own book, which was called my first book, which is Tribe of Arbitrages. It went number one bestseller in four separate cap categories, three in the UK, one in the US, four separate categories. It went number one bestseller. We sold hundreds of copies and it, it is a, a way of uh, being, it's passive, in it is passive income because once you've done it once, that book is there selling for you over and over again, whether that sells once or a million times, you don't have to do anything else, Amazon will take care of it. And then, you know, if you have that same property, but now it's in hard copy so people can buy it or audio so people can listen, it is, it's book publishing. You know, and um, uh, I, you know, I highly recommend, I went through a course a uh, number of years ago, and this is how I learned how to do this. Um, I went through a course, and I'm, I'm going to put a link in the description below because I've got a link um, down below. That is my affiliate link. So can you see how that worked when I said about the affiliate? Because I went through that course. I learned how to do everything because I believe in mentorship. I believe in, okay, if I'm going to publish my own book, I'd love to to learn, I'm not gonna try, I'm, you know, I can go try to figure it all out or I can get the step by step. So I went through a program where I learned how to do it. And if you go in the, the description down below, I'll, I'll give you that recommendation, okay? So um, a part of that recommendation is the affiliate marketing part where it basically means you get that product the same as you normally would, but now that service is now offering me a commission to recommend. Okay, no, no additional income, no additional expense to you. It just simply means that I'm the, the, the middleman. I've just connected you with that service and that is what affiliate marketing is. Because if I got a result from it, I actually published an ebook from it. I learned how to do it. I learned how to do the step-by-steps from this. I wanna recommend it to you. So um, there we go. The next one, here we go. We've got coaching and consulting. Coaching and consulting. Now, this is a huge thing and it's a byproduct of you starting to build your business, right? So if you're building your business, nowadays you've got so many different income streams. I've just, uh, this is exactly what this video is all about. If you start to share what you're doing, what your success you're having, what failures you're having, if you start to share that, you're actively going to be in discussions with people. And people equals relationships. And business is relationships. If you focus on building relationships with people and solving people's problems, helping them, guiding them, getting them the result, the chances are at some point people are going to reach out to you and say, I need your help. Whether that is one-on-one -on -one sessions, in case people saying to you, listen, Kev, I, I, want, I want you, I want your help, I want your support, and I, want, I, I need that support. Some people can work maybe through one-on-one, um, -on -one. some people do group sessions, some people do masterminds, some people do like inner circles, some people do, there's, there's so much availability when it comes to coaching and consulting because mentorship is real. Like if you want to learn how to play the piano, you're gonna, you're gonna go learn from somebody. That's the best way of learning, you're gonna learn step by step, which is that coaching, okay? so. Highly recommend that if you are on your business journey, start helping people because this could open up, this is active, it could open up um, a potential for you. Okay, so if you've enjoyed this so far, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. I wanna just 
uh, give you as many ideas as I can. There is the free course down below where I'm going to go deeper and actually specifically share specific ideas. Like instead of it just being mind map, it's now actually in the program where we go behind the scenes of everything. Okay, so that's coaching and consulting. Let's go up the blue line. Expert services. Expert services, I love this one. This is, there's a real need nowadays for done for you services. There's a real need for hands-free services. People that just don't have the time. They don't have the time. Could you just, could you do it for me? Like, I may have some money. So let's say, for example, um, you wanted to provide, some, somebody's in need for customer support or somebody's in need for creation of, of a product or whatever, and you just go, hands-free, look, I, I just need, please do it for me. Build this business for me. Do it for me. Completely hands-free. And they then, that's high ticket, right? So if somebody wants to, if you want somebody to build your, like, um, I don't know, whatever outcome you're after, completely hands-free, I'll, I'll share one, like training, for example. If somebody, instead of you going out to recruit, train, um, onboard, and all this, we have a done-for-you a service which basically allows somebody to go listen I ain't got the time for that could I just pay you done for you service okay it's a really really it's an expert service highly recommend that you look into it high income still skills okay these are technical skills where I in my team have like graphics designer it's a fantastic example a graphics designer I can't do graphics I, I can't I'm not I'm not highly skilled enough to do the level of graphics that I need in my business. So what I do is I've hired an incredibly skilled guy who basically is an expert. He's an expert when, so I can just pay him, you know, it could be 20 pounds an hour, it could be 30 pounds, it could be, you could be paying somebody 500 pounds plus, it could be whatever your budget is for somebody to come in who's highly skilled and does it for you. So. This could be you. Do you have a skill right now that you can do, that you can offer, that you can do as a, a high income skill or that you can do as a, a completely hands free? You can say, look, I've got this result in my life. This is what I've gone through. This is what I've learned. Done for you. It's gonna cost you this. Okay, so that's an expert service. This is also based on the resources that you have. So an example of this was I went into the preps. Um, I went into the prep service business simply because I was leveraging my warehouse. So it made sense. This is an expert service because I've got a warehouse, and maybe some others don't, or maybe they don't want it, and they're just going to use me instead. So that's a, a done for you, hands free service. Okay. So that's another thing that you can do. Let's continue. Oh, the orange. Okay, software. Software, now obviously some of these are more advanced than others. Software where you've got Chrome extensions, you see this all the time now. People, I mean if you, I'm, I'm assuming that you're probably using Chrome extensions. I mean my my address bar is covered in Chrome extensions because because they're so useful. They, they have different, they have different uses, whether that's productivity Chrome extensions, whether that is uh, tools that you can use in your business. There's so many, like software ideas, um, I mean, under this could go apps as well. So many ideas, when you really think about it, um, that you could you could develop, you can innovate, you can create. That's the amazing thing. So there's Chrome extensions, there's web, web hosted platforms where you sign into the inbuilt software that's got maybe an integration and, and, and an API to something else. That is a real, you know, a, a real, opportunity now it is higher ticket it is more difficult because you need now developers you need uh, expertise um, and that's where the business partnerships then come in because maybe you you go in partnership with somebody who who can help you overcome the technical aspect or you need to hire a software developer and it could cost you thousands and thousands of pounds right so Software is a great idea. It all depends on whereabouts you're at right now. Depends on how advanced you are right now. There are other business models that probably, if you may be a beginner, I would start with first. Especially something like, I'd start with like an affiliate marketing first, okay? Just because it's maybe a little bit easier than getting into software, okay? 
let's continue up this line. Here we go. Information products, okay? Information products. Now, information products is something that, like, self-education has, like, completely, it, it's, it's gone like this. You know, it's gone like this over the last decade or so. Just because information products are, people are, are consuming information like this. Okay, YouTube channels, um, blogs, websites, f everything online. What is it? what is everything online? Everything online today is information. It's in some type of form of information, whether that is videos, whether that is written articles, whether that is audios, whether that is music, whether that is uh, graphics, whatever it is. It's information and people are buying it. People are spending money and educating themselves. There's educational platforms, course platforms like the Udemy's. You can create your own platforms. You can build your own websites. You can build your own courses, guides, you know, step-by-step -step guides, how you do this, recipes. There's information. People, are, people have been doing this information products for years. When you think about it, a book's an information product, like a recipe book, like the chef, the famous chefs that we know of the world, of the, the Gordon Ramsays of the world. They've been doing this years. You know, they've been doing this absolute years when you think of people selling information, templates, how you do specific things. Um, you've got different reports. You know, there, there's so many different ideas, and I've not even scratched the surface on the ideas that you could have in information products, but, the truth is, when it comes to information products, the the margins are huge. Like the, the you create it once, like a book, okay. You create a guide once, you create a course once, you create a template once, you create a report once, and you could sell that. It doesn't matter whether you sell it once or a million times. You've only put the work in once, which is a fantastic thing. Information products, and in this free course that I shared down below. I actually share um, all the different videos. I share absolutely everything in there, okay, that you can get started with. And I share examples because I go real deep into this. Let's go into this one. Have, is, is your brain thinking of ideas? Are, are you at this point thinking, oh my God, like look at all these things I could do. Um, recruitment services. Okay, so recruitment services, there's a huge need nowadays for people recruiting people for businesses, whether it's small business, big business. There's people like my business. I'm, I'm actively trying to recruit people, bring people in, and I need training, I need onboarding, I need HR, I need all this. So if you're, if you're into this, if you're really interested in like recruitment services and you love to train and you love to you love all the HR, the business management side of things. There's a, there's a huge opportunity here. There's a huge opportunity here. I mean, right now, at the time of this recording, I'm, I'm working in my own HR systems based on recruiting and things, and I've hired my own assistant to come into the business as my, my chief human resource officer, but there's, there's recruitment services. If you just Google, I mean, I could just Google right now and... There'd be all sorts of recruitment services for uh, do you, wh whatever you need. There's, there's places like, there's Upwork, okay? Upwork is a freelance site where you can um, hire anybody. Uh, you can just put your job advertisement in. So Upwork is like a recruitment service. There's like uh, onlinejobs.ph. There's, there's, there's different, don't matter whether you need sort of human resources, whether you need operators, whether you need, um, graphics designers, blog management, social media management, recruitment services. If you've got the ability and if you've got the skill and the know-how to build a service that people need, okay, that's obviously the most, that's an important thing here, and when pe what people need, then recruitment services could be a fantastic idea for you, okay? I'd love to know at this point, if what business ideas are you working on? Let me know and I would love to know. All right, so other physical product channels. So we mentioned Amazon FBA, we, we mentioned um, that Amazon FBA is certainly an opportunity, but there's other physical product channels such as eBay, Shopify, Facebook Marketplace. So the amazing opportunity that we live in now is there's so much opportunity. That's probably the biggest problem. There is so much we can do. So what I would say 
from personal experience is for you to change your life, for you to get to a point where you can make additional income, multiple streams of income from multiple directions, the truth is I always recommend that you systemize automate and then move on don't try to do too much because it'll just be it, you won't get anywhere it'll be completely overwhelmed right so you've got to you've got to set up build systemize automate outsource bring managers in then move on so with physical products you you've got so much space you've got so much room in, in Amazon FBA but if you wanted to introduce eBay if you wanted to introduce Shopify if you wanted to introduce sort of like the Facebook marketplace especially if you are for example getting yourself into uh, there's all sorts of different uh, business models out there you can go to second hand charity stores and, and find those those golden winners you can do drop shipping there's drop shipping people do drop shipping in Shopify I don't have much experience on that but it's certainly something there uh, Facebook marketplace people are always people are, people are getting rid of stuff at your local area right now if you go to if you go to the marketplace and you go to your stuff for sale in your town it, there's stuff people literally giving stuff away which you could then potentially sell okay so that's another idea and wow another one okay another one events and masterminds these are free masterminds or, or um, paid masterminds or premium events or free events okay so you can do paid free whatever business model or whatever you want to use and utilize when it comes to events but with the with the explosion of the internet we've become more disconnected we've become more connected than ever in terms of uh, you know i can um you know i, I can uh, go on my phone right now and I'm connected to everybody you know I'm connected with with everybody on Facebook and everything but what's happened is we've lost the human connection we've lost the ability for me and you just to be in a room have a cup of coffee and um, talk stories of uh, what we've done in our businesses today what we're up to how things are going and this is what events and masterminds I love them I've put on events I've put on masterminds I love I love events when I can set up a, a plan for the day that people are going to learn and get an outcome from that day, whether that is going through a um, uh, like workbooks, whether whatever, right? Learning something, and then free masterminds is when you like you meet meet people where people meet each other on the same journey. You know, when you think of like Meetup.com, um, there's so many people in the world now that I've got the ability to access and see and meet other people, like-minded people that may be into what you're into. Whether you're into dog training, whether you're into, um, whether you're into building businesses online, whether you're into Amazon, whether you're into cards, chess, whether you're into movies, whether you're in, it doesn't matter what you may be into, sports, football, uh, baseball, what, it doesn't matter. There's people out there that are in the same niche as you the same um mastermind as you they've got the same interests as you and if you become one of these people that are you're a leader of a mastermind or you've set something up and you're attracting people to you like i love talking about taking massive action so i've got communities and i've got masterminds down below that you can join whether that is you're interested in uh, amazon whether you're interested in brand building whether you're interested in, in taking massive action and high energy these masterminds are really, really powerful because, again, it goes to building, you know, attracting people to you, helping people build relationships, and relationships is business. Okay, so masterminds, events, the big business. You, you, you will know that there's so many, from music events to festivals to seminars. It's big, big business and something that you could definitely utilize in your operation. So this is another income stream. And I believe that concludes every single one of them. So how many was that? Those one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. A staggering twelve streams of income that you could utilize in your online business. And guess what? You probably only need one to change your life. 
That's the one thing I would say. Focus on one at a time. Fo don't dilute your focus. Get relentless at taking massive action every single day. That's what I say. This is why I've got it on my top. Take massive action every single day because that's what's going to allow you to diversify. It's going to allow you to um, secure your life, your family, your, your house, your security, your warmth, your food. Like It's going to give you the, the wall around your life that you got some security, you've got options, you've got things that you can do. And now, guess what? Life is in your hands. So if you've got to this point, if you've got to this point, I would love for you to take massive action in the comments down below by hashtag massive action. Share with me what business income stream, what stream that you're interested in, what you're building right now, and what's your process? Are you, are you systemizing? Are you systemizing something right now? What's the next business model that you're working on? Remember what I said right at the beginning, you know, the, the average millionaire has seven income streams and I believe that means seven income streams from some small, some big, recurring, not recurring, one-off payments or not one-off payments. You, you literally, you're building your machine in multiple areas, some big, some small, whatever, and you're systemizing it. You're systemizing, automating, bringing a business, your a team involved, you're getting yourself involved. And like I said, if you've got to this point, I'd love for you to hit the thumbs up button so I know I'm going in the right direction here. Um, I'd love to know in the comments down below, obviously, which one that you enjoyed the most. Hit that subscribe button and really, really importantly, if you're interested in actually going deeper into each of these, I've just made available a free course which collects some of the, I've created a lot of different content, lots of different training, so I'm, I've packaged it all together, which goes deeper. So you can start, start to see, ultimately, where you can take action. Because this has been a great brainstorm and a brain dump, a, a, a great multiple streams of ideas, but now it's a case of, okay, thanks Kev, I, I really enjoy affiliate marketing, let's go deep. Let's go deep into that. Let's systemize, let's automate, let's learn, let's go all in. And that's what that free course is. So I would love for you to um, uh, let me know what you think. Take care, keep taking massive action as always. I will have some more videos that pop up right here, which you can check out. There's the best recommended and there's the, the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. My name's Kev here from lifesuccessengineer.com, inspiring you every day to keep taking massive action. And as always, take care.